It was a splendid morning on the island of Sodo. James was feeling very pleased with himself. His red paint gleamed in the sunshine as he sped along the line. He reached the junction just as Percy puffed in with some trucks. James was surprised to see him. What are you doing here, Percy? You should be at the next station by now. You're late. I know, sighed Percy. These trucks have been troublesome all morning. That's no excuse, Percy, snorted James. Nothing should stop us. The Fat Controller relies on us to be on time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. And James puffed importantly away. Bossy buffers, muttered Percy. James arrived at the harbour. It was market day. The harbour yard was filled with the sweet smell of fruit from far away lands. The fruit was delivered in big ships. James watched as strawberries, oranges, melons and bananas were carefully loaded into his trucks. Then he set off for the station on the main line. the way he met Thomas. Really reliable, that's me, panted James proudly. Pity the same can't be said for Percy. Peep, peep, goodbye. What was that about? gasped Annie and Clarabelle. That was trouble. Trouble for James, just wait and see. Percy was back in the yard and busy shunting. He had the trucks in good order and was making up for lost time. But the station master had bad news. What's happened? asked Percy's driver. James's brakes have jammed. We need Percy's help right away. Percy quickly set off to the rescue. He found James stuck on the line and looking glum. Percy couldn't help laughing. Got yourself in a jam, eh, James? What you might call a sticky situation. Be quiet, said James. It's not funny having jam brakes. And not very reliable either, teased Percy. I am surprised you let it happen, James. Nothing should stop us engines. That's enough, Percy, said his driver. Can you push these trucks? Of course I can, whistled Percy. There's no time to lose. James has done too much of that already. James angrily hissed steam as Percy was coupled to the trucks. Off we go, said Percy. I'll have to go fast to get there in time. These big engines are so unreliable. Be careful, Percy, called his driver, but Percy was in a hurry. He didn't see that the points had failed and that he had been diverted into a siding. Look out, Percy, shouted his driver and applied the brakes. But it was too late. The driver and the fireman had jumped clear. But squashed fruit squirted all over Percy. The fat controller arrived. Percy, you are not to blame for the points failure, but I do not run a jam factory. Yes, sir. No, sir. And Percy squelched sadly away. That night, the shed was silent. James and Percy felt very sorry for themselves. At last, Thomas spoke. You know, he said to no engine in particular, there's more than one way to get jammed. We all learned that today. Still there was silence. What's more, continued Thomas, we also learned that sometimes when engines help each other out of a jam, things can still go wrong. So? said a voice. So finished, Thomas, that means we learned a lot today, and therefore there came a chorus. We're really useful engines after all.